currently in B and Q, and we are looking for the kitchen door faces. So let's go have a look. So we found the kitchen area. Even though the, so we're thinking, should we go for the kind of dove grey one or white? So white's always a safe option. Time to stop farting around and do some work. Okay, today I'm taking disarming the backup battery for the alarm. It's currently live because if I cut the power, that backup battery will basically trigger off the alarm as if there was a power cut, and I don't need that. <laughs> so I'm also going to get these wires here from the consumer unit. I think these supplies are socket and these are probably lighting wires. There's enough slack here because it kind of zigzags around there. If I can get it pushed onto the wall there and pushed into the wall, chisel it out basically, and get it into the ceiling when I remove this wall. Okay, here's a quick view from the outside. So I'm gonna see if I can detach all the relevant wires that I'm using now in this house. Oh, quite easy. So look, I'm just gonna unclip them all one by one. And then one, two. And because I'm Indian, I'm probably gonna save these clips as well. Okay, so that wall underneath, I need to make sure that the joists are spanning all the way from there across there because if it stops and it rests on there where the wall down says I'm taking out the little corner kind of cupboard thing, then I have an issue. And it looks like, I'm gonna put the light on. If you can see, it spans all the way to the end, so end to the end, right into the brickwork. And this one's difficult to get into, but let's see. So that one too, and this one you should be able to see all the way to the end. Yeah. That's all old wiring. Back up battery, screwing it up. I've got to take out that battery basically. Okay, so there's two terminals you've got to remove. Just make sure you don't cross them over. Uh, and keep in mind they are alive. Oh crap, the alarm. Let's see what the other guys are doing. <laughs> Just before the skip came, someone decided to block our drive. So much parking there. There's so much parking there, I don't know why someone had to block our drive, honestly. There's like so much parking over there. <sighs> Meanwhile, the car blocking our driveway moved. Now where was I? Oh yeah, I was disconnecting the alarm. Just realized that alarm has its own backup battery. So there's like two, three backup batteries. Ugh. You need to come and help me. Mm. Pause it, pause it. So I managed to, I actually just cut the bloody wires in the end. So I cut the wires for the speaker and, and the battery wires as well. You can see over there.
take on the brick over there. Let's have a quick look at the footing. A housing footing is crucial because it provides a stable, level foundation that evenly distributes the weight of the structure, preventing issues like shifting, settling, or structural failure. It anchors the building into the ground, reducing the impact of environmental factors like soil movement or frost heave, which can cause damage over time. Footings ensure that a home or building remains safe, durable, and compliant with building codes, ultimately supporting its longevity and reducing the need for costly repairs. So that is the ballast that's going to be mixed up so it can fill up the ground to make the footing. Okay, if you're interested in what we do here, by all means subscribe and stay tuned if you want to see a day-to-day -day vlog of this this thing what we do, renovations. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for everyone that subscribed as well and supported us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I have a problem getting this worker to stop. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.